This is Sims, and we are back with more of my butler in Kira's route, so... Continuing with this travesty. Oh, right. We were just out with him, and... Oh, no. Well, I mean, we weren't just out with him, but we went out on the patio with him, and he was all nice, which seems a little weird, but also admitted that he's a raging douchebag, and now we're in a relationship. But we did get a really nice CG, so I'm not going to complain. I'm, that's bullshit. I'm going to complain. I'm going to bitch and whine, and I'm going to, like, the whole time, because these are all assholes, but this is what we come for, and this is why we enjoy it. So, but that CG was really friggin' nice. Like, he really pretty. But anyway, so, now it's the next morning, and I, I think we were leaving our room for breakfast or whatever. Anyway, click. I finished changing, and Kira and I left my room. Oh. Huh. We unexpectedly saw Kirishima and Kagurazaka as they pushed the breakfast cart. Uh, at first, you, I want to be like, Oh God, they see us with him! Leaving my room! But he's my butler, so he's supposed to come into my room and it would make sense that we were leaving my room together. But, you know. Good morning, you two. Y yeah, morning. It's like they know. But like, how do they know? But they just know because they butlers. They just know all. We're butlers, so we butle. <laughs> it's never going to get old. I'm going to say that in every part. Anyway. Uh, good morning, Miss Spacey. G good morning, Kirishima Kagorazaka. It's not like we'll get in trouble if they see us. But, but it's kind of embarrassing that they saw us exiting my room together. Again, though, he's your butler, so he would be in your room. I mean... Kira, were you in Miss Spacey's room since last night? What? Yeah, I was. What about it? K Kira, I thought he was going to be like, what? No. And I was like, wow, he's going to lie for us. That's no. Oh, no. He's like, what? Yeah, I was. <laughs> Didn't nail her, though. Kira smiled nonchalantly. Kira, could you be... Kirishima's face stiffened in reaction to Kira's attitude. You haven't gone beyond your relationship as butler and master with Miss Spacey, have you? You mean butlers aren't supposed to have sex with you when you ask? Because that's just disappointing, and why would you have a butler then? <laughs> I mean, look, what we know of butlers aside from this game, at least me, all it Pendleton and Sebastian... I mean, I'm just saying, if they were your butler, you'd be like, so, like, you're supposed to do anything, right? <laughs> so. I'm just saying. Anyway. <laughs> Plus, in this, they're supposed to undress you and dress you and bathe you. I don't know. I mean, we don't know what butlers are like, and according to this game, inappropriate shit happens with your butler all the time, right? I mean, that's what I'm learning. Is that what you're learning? Shh. I thought this game was like, uh, how to have a butler. <laughs> like, you mean it's not? <laughs> oh, God, the absurdity. Anyway. Huh? Yeah. In other words, you're asking if I laid my hands on Miss Spacey, right? What? You can't say that? They'll misunderstand you. And yet, Kira shrugged his shoulders and giggled. Of course he did. Well, that's my private matter, so I'll leave it up to your imagination. Let me just add that Miss Spacey and I are in full agreement. What? I mean, you are, so why are you acting shocked? How can you say that with a broad smile? Right, Miss Spacey? I mean, I think we got to admit it. We didn't do anything! I mean, we didn't do anything. But I feel like we should be like, no, we're in full agreement, because... We didn't do anything! Is true. But I don't know why she's getting like, what? Ugh. I mean, I get it. She's flustered right now. Okay, I suppose. And he's like, we're in full agreement. And she's like, huh? Oh, God. We're on the spot. But yes, you are in full agreement. So I don't... I don't want to give him the satisfaction of being like, yes, we're in full agreement. But we are. And I mean, I feel like it's wrong to be like, what? No, I don't know what you're talking about. You... You knew what you were taking on, girlfriend. Stand up and defend your asshole. I mean, your man, who is an asshole. 
So, we didn't do anything. But even if we did, it's none of their business, so. Oh. But now that I hear him say it like that, he, yes, it's true. We're in full agreement. I think. Okay, I think is not... Oh, dear God. So wishy-washy. They're flip-flops. They're flippy-floppers, and I don't like it. I was the one who'd said I was too scared to be alone, and I hadn't refused to sleep together. M Miss... Oh, they're turning red. They're completely flustered because they're just imagining what they'd like to do to you. I'm just saying. <laughs> Jeez, Miss Spacey. Huh? What? Why did you agree like that? Because cause it's true. You're so honest and obedient. H huh? And don't worry, you guys. I'm not the type of guy who would put my hands on a girl I'm not dating. Miss Spacey told me she couldn't sleep last night, so I stayed by her side until morning. Isn't that part of a butler's job? I yes, that is true. Oh, so that's what happened. I mean, that's literally all we had to say. I asked him to stay because he scared me with his ghost stories and he's an asshole. So he had to stay awake all night and watch me sleep. But he didn't. He was shirtless. Probably pantless. Probably just in his underwear. And it was a beautiful CG, even though he's a douche beat. I was like, gonna go with douche weasel and douche bag, and it came out douche be uh, Yeah. He's a douche beagle. Yeah. That's, there you go. It's gonna be like douche egg. <laughs> We're gonna get some accents up in here. Anyway. I could see that Kirishima and Kagurazaka felt relieved. Oh, were they worried about me? I mean, it's Kira, so probably. But then again, who knows if she'll become my lover someday. In the next moment, Kira's eyes filled with a bewitching light. And now he's blushing. Wh what? If she begged me to hold her until she fell asleep, I might just sleep with her. I'm... I did. Huh? Huh? You're blushing, Miss Spacey. Are you imagining us doing that? I mean, yeah, because we literally did. Y you jerk! I put my hands on my flushed cheeks and glared at Kira. What do we have here? Everyone's all together. G good morning, Yonakura. What's going on this early in the morning? Yonakura tilted his head as he saw us talking in front of my room. It's nothing. They're interrogating me because I came out of Miss Spacey's room with her. Oh? So? What actually happened? None of your business! Did you want the video? Because I'm sure he's got nanny cams in my room. The pervert. You dummy. I'm not like you. I mean, seriously, Yonakura actually had sex with us pretty early on, didn't he? He was like, look, I'm going to do this. And we're like, okay, I guess that's what butlers do. Because she's an idiot, but... I wouldn't make a move on her like that. I mean, to his credit... Three chapters in, after a month, and he hasn't molested us. I mean, he's forced us to be naked in front of him. I mean, okay, so yeah, kind of. But he... Okay, he hasn't physically assaulted us yet. Oh, God. Oh. We just slept together in the same bed, right, Miss Spacey? Y yeah. That was embarrassing enough for me. Hmm. Huh? Why is he looking at me like that? He jealous. Yonakura? Uh, um, what's wrong? It's nothing. Nothing at all, Miss Spacey. Yonakura finally smiled with his usual sweet grin. He's just thinking about how he wants... He's like, I wouldn't have just slept with you. Totally would have had sex with you. Yeah, well, I mean... He looked like a cat that found its toy just now. Not to mention he was looking at me, wasn't he? Look at that. Teach me true love. Did you roll your eyes so hard at that? Then, will you be my partner? Oh, are we teaching him true love? Oh, okay. I, that's a little less cringy than like, Kira, teach me true love that you know nothing about. Be like, teach me how to be a nice person to other people. Again, you know nothing about that. <laughs> how to walk. And stand up straight. Yeah, maybe. Because you're a model, so you should know how to strut down the runway. But I'm just saying. You don't know how to be nice. 
if it was with you, I think I maybe might be able to do it. A real relationship. Like, I want to take him at face value and believe what he's saying, but every time we have to read this, don't you feel like... I feel like he's bullshitting us. I feel like he's bullshitting us. Just because he's a douche, so... A few days had passed... Uh, they let Tim on this one. Since Kira and I had that conversation. Uh, um... Hmm? Kira? What is it? Um... What's up with the situation we're in? Right after I woke up, I perked myself up. Kira was smiling pleasantly right before my eyes. Why are you staring at me with that big smile on your face? Well, I... I wanted to look at the face of my potential lover. I wanted to... I wanted to do that while I had the chance. Uh, oh, Kira. Your pajamas and the clothes I pick always look good on you, but... I wonder how you'd look not wearing anything. I've been imagining it a lot. I'm sure. D don't fantasize about those weird things! It's not weird. It... I mean, it can be weird. But, like, fantasizing about those things isn't weird. Like, ev like a lot of... like I mean, that's just... It's kind of natural. But you don't usually say that to people. You're not gonna go, I fantasize about you naked. That's weird! Okay, saying it out loud is weird. Especially to a stranger. But if you're in this relationship, and he's knowing the asshole that he is, he's gonna say shit like that to you. Girl, you got yourself in this. After we'd had that conversation on the balcony, even in the daytime, Kira sometimes shows me his true self and not his butler self. I'm pretty sure his butler self and his true self are pretty much the same. I don't know if he's joking or if he's serious. Either way, he's got me in the palm of his hand. Again, always has, since day one. Hey, Miss Spacey, I just thought about this while looking at your face, but why don't we skip today's lesson? Huh? Kira giggled at my shocked face. I thought about it, and I really don't know anything about you. If we're going to have a serious relationship, we have to get to know each other a little more, don't we? Mm. So, come over here. Okay. I did as Kira said and took his hand. Chirp, chirp, chirp. Hey, bird, it's your cue. <whistles> Buddy. Buddy, where are you? I need I need bird sound effects. Just to make noises. Chirp for me. You know chirp on command. God, what kind of a dog are you? Just need you to chirp. Need you to make chirp, chirp, chirp noise. Make chirp, chirp, chirp noise. Talk to me. No? You're not gonna? Nothing? You're not gonna help me with this? You can make me look like an asshole? Rude! Chirp, chirp, chirp. Well, there. See how lame it is when I do it? Bird is so rude. What do I pay you for? He's like, you don't pay me. I know. You get all the food you can eat, and that's a lot, because you're a pig. Feather pig. Birds are chirping, but... No, they're not! Where is she that birds are chirping? He only shrieks when I don't want him to. <laughs> now he's like... You want me to talk? I'm not going to talk. He's acting like I don't have a bird and I'm just talking to myself. He's trying to make me look stupid. You're so cute. Stop looking at me. <laughs> so, why are we in the greenhouse? It's so strange that he wanted to skip my lesson. I didn't think he'd take me here. Yeah, where everyone can see. Yeah, I thought it would be a good place to have a date. Generally, I can't go down into town... And so we had to have a date in the mansion. I mean, it's big enough. And so I thought this place seemed fitting. Oh. This is a date? So, Miss Spacey. Huh? W what? Okay, they're in a greenhouse. So, like, it's got a roof and everything. So unless, like, parts of it are open. How are there birds in the greenhouse? Do they just keep birds in there? Because, I mean, that'd be kind of interesting. I want, like, a giant aviary. Anyway. Kira quickly came up close to me. Be pain in the ass to clean them. He put both of his arms around my hips and pulled me toward him. Oh. As he gently held me, he put his lips closer to my ear. You're going to make me fall in love with you, aren't you? How do you plan on pulling that off? Hmm. His breath is grazing my earlobe. 
It kind of tickles. Well, apparently I have a magic vagina, so I should just sleep with you. And then all of a sudden you'll be changed and worship the ground I walk on. I mean, that's what happened with you and Agora, right? We'll start with our interests. Mm, um... This is Kira we're talking about, so I don't think he gives a shit about our interests. Normally, right answer, right? We'll start talking about our interests and get to know each other. Kira is a douche hole, so I'm I guess we should try. We should do the kissing by kissing you. Like, I'm trying now. In the very beginning, I don't try. I'm like, no! And I'm like, all right, I guess. Um, I looked up, and our lips were so close to each other. They were almost touching. Just grab them and kiss them. Don't, don't act weird about it. Kira's lips are really pretty. I unconsciously thought that to myself. By kissing. Or something. Oh, she ruined it. This is what I hate, too. Just have them some stones. Be like, you're so close to me. Just grab them and kiss them. No, I would never do that in real life because I'd be like, exactly, girl. Uh, <laughs> you're gorgeous and you're looking at me. There comes a point where her stuttering stupidity just gets, you're like, okay, you've been married for four years. Get over it. <laughs> like, huh? Kira looked a little surprised as he stared at me. Ballsy answer. Good, bad, I don't know. A serious relationship for you starts with a kiss rather than your feelings. Oh. Well, no, but I figured it was you. Oh. No. What am I saying? <laughs> you don't have to try so hard. I think a relationship can start from the basic instinct of wanting to touch each other. Um, but you're not that type of girl, are you, Miss Spacey? No, but I figured it was you and you're a whole... You're a... See, again, my brain was going whore and ho at the same time and it came out whore... <sighs> I can't with the words today. We're coming up with all sorts of like really bad conglomerations of words. Anyway, sorry. Literally, sorry. Kira hit me on the forehead. Hey, what a dick. I was just trying to appeal to you, you slut. I guess we're a little too hasty after all. We were a little too hasty after all. Oh, well, K Kira, I like teasing people, but I don't like to extort people. I heard a cute smooching sound. He kissed my forehead. Well, I think that's good enough for today. It's just right. Oh, okay, so that was bad? I don't... I, whatever. I, it would have ended bad either way, but... The day ended without any mishaps. Good night, Miss Spacey. Before the clock struck twelve, Kira elegantly bowed and was about to leave. Hmm? What's wrong? You look so lonesome. Do you want me to hold on to you until morning again? Huh? Let's see. I really want to do that too, but... I'm just not sure you'll stay the same if I do that. I'm sorry, but I'm afraid you'll need to control yourself for the time being. Uh... <laughs> well then, good night, Miss Spacey. Kira bowed elegantly one more time. He wants us to beg is what it is, because he wants to have power. He left my room just like that. Kira... He was serious when he'd said he wouldn't put his hands on a girl he wasn't dating. And that part of him showed how surprisingly serious he is. Shows how surprisingly serious he is. Okay. I mean, okay. He's a fucking asshole with the teasing and the douchebaggery, but like... This bit about him is actually like, Yonakora is just like, fuck it, your mom and a like. And you're like, but we're not, uh, and then he just fucking has his way with you. And Kira's actually better than that. Because he's like, okay, so I'm going to be a douchebag to you. But like, I'm not going to touch you because that would be inappropriate. <laughs> you're making me think you're not all that bad. And then you're going to be mean to me and make me cry. I mean, he's still an asshole, don't get me wrong. But, like, this is a nice humanizing trait he has. So. He's not a complete monster. Just, like, 90%. Anyway. But, I can't sleep. I'm worried about Kira. Why? I really can't sleep. 
No, you're just horny and you just don't want to admit it. I stared up at the ceiling in my dark room for a while, but... I can't take it. I can't go to sleep. I let out a deep breath and forced myself out of bed. I wonder if Kira's on the balcony again today. He'd said he went there every night to look at the moon. Creak! I opened my door and went to... Oh. I guess no one's here. Even though I thought Kira would be here, the balcony was shrouded in silence and no one was to be seen. <sighs> what am I doing? I guess I should go back to my room. Just then. Creak! Kira? However, the person who appeared was... Are you going to meet Kira here, Miss Spacey? Oh, Yonakura. No, it's not like that. Well, what about you? What are you doing at this time of night? I saw you come up here, so... Huh? Oh, is he going to get rapey now? See, this would have really made me hate it if he's going to get all pawy, handsy, like... That's why you followed me here? Yeah. I just wanted to try speaking with you for a little bit. Speak to me? Yes. Kira's always guarding you diligently, so it's hard to get closer to you. Whoa. I don't think he's guarding me or anything, though. You're not aware of it? In a way, I guess that's amazing. Yonokura chuckled. He slowly came closer to me. This is the first time Kira's ever treated a girl so specially before. Huh? Kira's treating me specially. I mean, it's his job. He's being forced into it, but... Miss Spacey... What kind of person do you think Kira is? A raging fucking asshole. But Kira is... He's a kind yet lonely person. He's someone who hides his true feelings. I mean... I don't know if he really hides his true feelings. Because I'm pretty sure he's open about being an asshole and... That's not really hiding. But, I mean, I guess you could say then that those aren't his true feelings and that's just a defense mechanism. He's a kind... I mean, my first choice would be he's... I don't... I, again, I don't think he's that kind. But lonely, yes. I would agree with the lonely because he kind of made it sound like that on the balcony and you're like, well, you treat people like shit, though. That's why you're lonely. But maybe that's why he treats people like shit. I don't know. He's kind, but I think we're supposed to think he is. Oh, he's just a little rough on the outside. No! No, this is badly done rough on the outside. You know what I mean? So I'm going to go with that, but... How should I put it? He's a kind yet lonely person. He feels like a loner, I guess. Huh. I'm surprised you think he's kind, but... Kira, lonely? Yeah, Kira might get mad if I tell you this, but... He's a big bully. Hmm. We're in a servant and master relationship, but he teases me and laughs at me. However, he would never do anything to really hurt me. Uh, emotional pain is still pain, so like... He's always watching me. He figures out everything in seconds. When I see him like that, it really makes me think that he has a good job ethic. I think it's a good work ethic, but... Phrasing. Wait, anyway. I see... But, but, I don't think it's that he doesn't like people. It feels like he just has no interest in them. Because he's, he has no heart or empathy. Like he's lit, I mean, okay. We know, anyway. But when he's with everyone, it sometimes feels like he's looking into the distance by himself. Yeah, because again, he has no human empathy. And that's why I think he's actually a very lonely person. But I don't think it's because he likes or hates solitude. It's just second nature to him. And that's what I think about him. Miss Spacey, I'm very surprised. Interesting. I suppose he's shown you a side of himself he's never shown anyone else. It's unexpected, but you really do know Kira very well. Huh? R really? <laughs> I see. I feel like I understand why Kira's so interested in you a little better now. I thought when he came out and I was like, I want to talk to you. I'm like, I, do you want to talk to me? I got really like, I just was like, my walls were fucking up. Like, get away from me. Thought he was going to get handsy. I don't trust him. Kira's interested in me. You piqued my interest as well. I'd like to ask you something, Miss Pacey. W what is it? 
Did you and Kira really not do anything together the other night? It's really none of your business. Who or what I fuck, but I mean, no, nothing happened. Or have you already kissed? Huh? Think, like, did you do anything last night? Or did you kiss? You know, there's other things we could have done last night in bed, alone, in the dark. I'm just, I mean, I like that you went to kissing, though. Like, did you kiss him? <gasps> Lude. <laughs> Yonokura put his hand out and touched my cheek. Whoa, whoa, my property. Uh, his fingertip lightly caressed my face, and my body writhed and shivered. Okay, girl, keep it in your fucking pants. You got a man. Sort of. Mm. Y Yonokura. Your lips look so soft. I wonder how they'd taste if I kissed them. Uh, rude. No? I like how she's like, no? There's like a question in there. You're not like, no! It's like, no! Like, no, bro! No! <laughs> like, uh, no? Uh-uh? No? No, thank you? I'm gonna go with no? <laughs> Little questioning ex exclamation there. He gently held my hips and pulled me forward. Uh, this is when you knee him in the balls. If you've done it with Kira, why don't you try doing it with me? Oh, uh, okay, now we're getting a little inappropriate. Okay, this is what I expected the whole time from him. You know, again, I'm not even going to lie, but if we had done Kira's route first, and no. Uh, this is really, really fucking douchey. I didn't like Yonakura to begin with, and he was very much like this in his own route. Like, oh yeah, I'm just going to do whatever I want with you, but I belong to someone else. And I don't even mean because, like, emotionally. I mean, literally, I'm, like, his property at this point. Because that's the way this game is. But I would never consider myself actual property to someone. But in this game, she's, like, we're his dog, okay? We're his fucking dog. You don't get to touch us. <laughs> like, he brought his thin, smirking lips closer. And they were about to touch mine. W what's going on? Uh, this one you fight him off, girl. <laughs> His lips were approaching me right before my eyes. And don't make Kira come and get... You need to stand up for yourself. I, is he really planning on kissing me? Girl. <sighs> Such a dad, jackass. Right then, Miss Spacey... Uh, yeah, look at his face. He looks like he's like... Why are you kissing someone else? Uh, because I'm just not fighting him off. Because I feel like, you know... What the fuck, girl? I know you said no, but saying no when he's coming at you, that's when you, like, push. And not just, is he going to actually kiss me? I'm just going to stand here and take it. You know what, Kira? Push her off the balcony and save us all the fucking hassle. Because, like, too stupid to live. Like, no, no, she, no. I'm telling you... The women in these games are what I hate the most. They are the fucking worst. The men are assholes. But at first, like, what? I'm not gonna... I'll just take it. Why is he kissing me? I love him so much. In, like, a four-second span of time. Bitch, I'm gonna fucking beat you. Don't be stupid. Stop being stupid. Just stop. They are assholes, but if you're gonna get involved with them, stop this wishy-washy bullshit. Or like this. Oh, he's going to kiss me. I guess I have to take it. No! The fuck? The fuck? Because now we're going to have to apologize to Kira. I'm sorry that I was going to just let him kiss me. I didn't want him to. But like I just I figured just standing there and taking it was, you know, whatever. Someone would rescue my ass. I mean, I'm not saying that you can always fend off an attacker. But, like, she could have tried something. Standing there and like, I guess he's going to kiss me now. What kind of doormat are you? God, makes me so angry. That's what I hate about these games more than the douchey men. I hate the dumb fuck MC. She's the worst. Worse than the ones who were literally like, I don't understand. I'm totally stupid. <laughs> and you're like, oh, that's irritating. But this, this is, these are not like, well, she's too stupid to know better. It's, you are a modern woman living in the modern world and you don't have amnesia or the brain of an eight-year-old. The fuck are you doing? The fuck? <sighs> Alright, off my soapbox. Anyway. Uh, and Yonakura, what are you two doing here at this time of night? 
We weren't doing anything. I was looking for you. I'm pretty sure I was looking for you is the right thing. We weren't doing anything. <laughs> because it looks like we were doing something. And everything. I was looking for you. I was looking for you. And he came. And he's trying to accost me. Help me. Kira. I, I was looking for you. And that's why I came here. If you were looking for me, then why were you two about to kiss? What? Hey now, Kira. Don't get so angry, okay? It's not like you caught her cheating. Uh, what? Hey, why don't you admit what you were doing? Again, why didn't we slap him? Look, in this type of situation, you're the one at fault for interrupting us, aren't you? What a fucking twat. I don't know why she'd eek. Unicorn chuckled as he forcefully pulled me in closer by the hips. This is where you pat punch him. Unicorn, sorry, but I have something important to talk about with Miss Spacey. Can you give her back to me? K Kira? All right, all right. Here you go. Again, it's like we're a fucking dog toy now. You don't have to tell me twice. I might have been slugged in the face if I continued anyway. I'll give you back your precious lass. Unicora shrugged his shoulders in a joking manner and quickly let go of me. <laughs> Thank goodness. Really? Because it's not like you were doing anything about it or trying to fight. Just like, gonna stand there and take it. Don't say thank goodness, you goddamn doormat. However, now Kira was coming toward me with an annoyed look on his face. Rightfully so! Miss Spacey. <coughs> he forcefully grabbed my wrist. Could you come with me for a moment, Miss Spacey? K Kira? I is he angry? Hey, Kira. Don't tease her too much, okay? Oh no, he's gonna beat me. This is this is this is where like he beats me now. Like Cause I didn't fight back. I was just gonna let Yonakor kiss me. Cause I'm an asshole. I'm not saying the beating is justified, but I'm just saying I am an asshole. I still don't agree with this. Kira? Come on, Orhoff. Where are we going? Somewhere that's far away from Yonokora. Hmm, it's getting pretty interesting now. You fucking douche weasel. Don't like you. Their relationship is liable to get bland. And they need that kind of stuff to spice things up. Um, no! I'm such a good guy. I really want someone to push him off the balcony now. You know what? Everyone in this game, except for Kirishima and Kagorozaka, off the fucking balcony! We haven't done the other dude's route, but I don't even care. He's gonna be an asshole. Off the balcony. All of you. All four of you fuckers. Poor nice butlers. Leave them to themselves. It, it hurts, Kira. Kira. Phrasing. I mean, that's like, whoa, wh what are we doing? I know he just grabbed her by the wrist, but still. Kira was silent as he strolled along, holding me by the wrist. Kira, hey! Girl, just shut up. He finally stopped walking after a number of my protests. What were you thinking, Miss Spacey? What do you mean? Why did you let Lona Yonakura touch you so easily like that? I mean, no fucking reason. Because I'm a dumb fucking doormat. I did nothing of the sort! Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. I was there. Yeah, you did. You were about to kiss him. Like I was trying to tell you, that was all Yonakura. But again, you didn't... Oh, God. Why is he making that scary face? Girl, just be like, he was leaning in, and I was scared, and... And do his eyes look so cold? Is he mad about what happened? Of course he is! He thinks you were going to kiss somebody else! God, why are you stupid? <sighs> he literally just said this to you. Anyway. Um... I... Be quiet. Huh? Uh... Don't speak. Kira? You don't want to be seen like this, right? He pushed me against the wall a little roughly. Alright, this is the kind of stuff that this space he likes. So like... Okay, wait, wait, wait. This could... This could be acceptable. I could be okay with this. <clears throat> he pinned me down with both of his arms on my face so I couldn't run away. Arms on my face. That... That doesn't... I don't... 
think that's the visual. I'm literally, that's not the visual you want to try to give us. That's not what you meant to say. I don't think, because that literally looks like his arm, his forearms are literally across your face. And then it's like, I'm my arms are my heart. Like, I just, I don't think that's what they were going for. But now that's what I'm picturing. Uh, Kira was cold as he brought his soft lips closer to mine. He forcefully put them on top of mine. He slammed us against the wall to kiss us. I'm not gonna complain. That's the kind of shit I like. Fight him or accept it. Girl, accept it. I don't even care. I am gonna accept it, because this Spacey likes that shit. In my games. Look, the glasses asshole just pushed us against a wall. Which you know is my shit. I don't know why I like it so much. Again, someone did that to me in real life. He'd get kneed in the balls. But, uh, and then he's like gonna slam you up against a wall. Kiss you? Yeah, I mean... Raise his hand as high as I can. I signed up for this. This. This is what I... Yeah. She doesn't deserve it because she's a twat waffle and she's an idiot, but... I'm okay with this. We we will... Please, sir, can I have some more? <laughs> okay. His lips entangled mine and penetrated me. I don't... Think... Again! That's not what lips do. Okay. Uh, Spacey. Uh huh? What's going on? Even though he's forcing me to kiss him, it feels really good. I know, right? <laughs> it feels good for us, too. Spacey. Between our kisses, Kira called my name with his husky voice. Each time his kisses became more and more intense. Uh, uh, no. My mind is going blank. Just take it. Take it like a good dog. Okay, that sounds gross. Take it like a good girl. Pats her on it. <laughs> but like, no. But like, I'm okay with this situation. But normally, but, and, and no. But we're supposed to be dating. I use air quotes around dating this guy. So like, um, I'll accept it. I can't stand up any longer. My legs started to shake, and I unconsciously clung onto Kira's chest. I mean, I don't know. I've never been kissed to the point where I'm so weak in the knees that my legs just wobble underneath me. So, I mean, I'm just saying. That'd be nice. I think it's bullshit. I don't think that ever happens, but... Kira's body jolted. Uh, Spacey? He pulled his lips away and sounded confused. Spacey? Uh, I... Kira? He didn't look at me with the dark eyes he'd had before. Now he was just shaken up, trying to catch his breath. So, like, now he's like, Oh my god, I'm so sorry for what I did. Don't be sorry. Please don't apologize. Are you okay, Kira? What am I doing? He looked like he'd come to his senses. He looked at me dumbfounded. When I saw that he was about to kiss you, it was like... And the blood rushed to my head and I didn't know what to do. I couldn't hold back my emotions, no matter how hard I tried. K Kira, I guess I'm losing control of my own emotions. It looked like he couldn't believe what he'd done. Kira slowly stepped backwards. I'm kind of confused. I want to not believe this, but like we know they all magically change. But like. I, I wanna, I wanna, like, I wanna be like, you're full of shit. You're just gonna, at the end, you're gonna be like, ha ha ha, I was joking the whole time. Because I feel like that's the kind of asshole he is, but I know that's probably not what's gonna happen. It's literally gonna be like, magically changed. Because we're magical, remember? We're magic. Um. So, yeah. Now I'm like, wow, so he's so madly in love with us and we're so magical that he's like, I don't, I just got so angry. And I didn't mean to force a kiss on you. No, I mean, I'm not complaining. Like, literally. It was like the one time I'm not gonna complain about you being an asshole because this is this kind of shit I like so um this is the trash I like are you okay your face is completely blue I looked up at him and he gazed at me in surprise he, yeah I may not be doing very well this is the first time I've seen him like this could you give me some time uh, of course Sorry. Are you okay going back by yourself? Oh. Kira. 
He's still worried about me, even at a time like this? He, yeah, cause, okay. I can't believe I'm going to say this. Because he's not being a douchebag right now. I mean, he's, I still think he's a douchebag, but the he's still worried about me? Yes, because that's what decent human beings do, and I can't believe I'm saying that about Kira, but okay. Should I act like a spoiled child, or no? Ooh, go back on her. Should I act like a spoiled child, or... So I'm thinking the ask him to accompany you is acting like a spoiled child, then. I think we should just... Let him be. Be nice and be like, oh, no, it's fine. I can, I can get back to my room by my own and... Hope that Yonakora doesn't assault me on the way there. We'll go on our own. Yeah, I'll be fine by myself. I really don't want to leave Kira like this, but... When I see him so perplexed and confused, I know I can't be selfish. Right, good answer. Kira stood there with a puzzled look on his face. Well then, good night. However, after a short period... Spacey... Huh? Kira? You're like, I literally am not even... A short period. It's taken me three hours to get back to my room. Kira had come after me and was now out of breath. I'm sorry. I'm horrible for doing that to you and leaving you like that. I really want to take you back to your room properly. So, that's why you went through all the effort to chase after me? I'm your personal butler. Uh, personal butler, after all. Kira... Come on, you're going to catch a cold. Get into bed and pull the covers over your shoulders. Uh, okay. He pushed me into bed. It was like Kira had forgotten about what had happened as he tended to my every need. But I kept tracing his lips with my eyes. His thin, charming lips were well-featured. Just a little while ago, these lips kissed me. Kira's lips were nice and cold when I'd first felt them. Spacey about before. Huh? Is Kara reminiscing about the kiss we just had, too? Uh... It's nothing. It looks like I'm still confused after all. Was he gonna apologize? Oh, don't apologize. It's fine. I liked it. <laughs> it's like the one time you being a douchebag is acceptable. I'm not gonna be like, fuck you, buddy! I'm like, no, it's cool. I like that shit. He's like, what? You're like, you tease me and you make me cry and I want to murder you. But like, you pull that shit and I'm fine. But be nice to me, like, most of the time. But every once in a while, you want to, like, get a little rough and tumble. I'm okay with that. <laughs> That's how I know you're really the glasses asshole, with or without real glasses, so. Uh, okay. I'm confused too, Kira. I want to know why you kissed me like that, but I can't ask you. Again, in a normal situation... This would be like, no, you're kind of douchey, but we're supposed to love these boys. Eh. And even if I hate the character, I think when this happens, it's like, I mean, I do sign up for this kind of, this is my kind of trash. This is how trashy I am. I just like it when they slam me up against walls or bookshelves or claws or whatever and kiss me. I... Hell, they don't even have to kiss me. They just slam me up against something. Okay. I'm listening. I like it. This is my shit. It's always... It, I, look. Don't kink shame me, okay? <laughs> anyway. I can't ask you. Well, then. And then... Kira stretched out his arm to me like he'd always done. However, right before his hands could touch my hair, he hesitated and stopped. Good night. Spacey. He always petted my head before he left. Good night, Kira. What was the real meaning behind that kiss just now? It's kind of interesting, though, that he did that, and then he's like, crap, I should... That was wrong of me and inappropriate, and I shouldn't have... My God, you might not actually be an asshole? I don't know how I feel about that. Because I still think you're an asshole. But you had a charming human moment. I can't handle that in my trash games. I don't know. The next day, 
Uh, it's already morning. In the end, I didn't get any sleep. I tried to get some rest, but kept remembering the kiss we'd had. Miss Spacey. Uh, m morning, Kira. Good morning. And did you have a good night's rest? Y yeah. No, the right answer is no. I can't tell him that I couldn't sleep because I was too busy thinking about her kiss. I see. I couldn't get much sleep, I guess. Huh. <laughs> I feel like a middle school student. I got confused just from a kiss and couldn't get a wink of sleep. I didn't think I was some kind of pure-hearted person. Kira. Kira smiled bitterly and my heart was racing. I could feel my temperature shooting upwards. <laughs> that's why he's confused. I... Confused because I feel guilty about forcing a kiss on you and normally that's what I would do. And ah, Oh my god, you're turning into a human! Human emotions! Oh, burning me! I can't help but think about last night's kiss after hearing him say that. Um... Y yes? Just so you know, I've prepared your outfit for today. Uh, okay. I got out of bed and stood in front of Kira. Like always, Kira helped me change. However... Uh, ahem. Huh? huh? <laughs> Kira, his fingers are shaking. Is he turning into a real boy? This is really awkward and strange. Like, I'm wary of this because I'm like, I'm just waiting for the douche to fall. You know, like, waiting for the douche tree to come crashing down. But, like, you're really changing and awkward and because you don't know how to deal with human emotions and you're becoming a real human being with normal empathy toward other people. Because then, like, that'd be great. But, like, I don't know if I trust him. <laughs> You've set me up to not trust this shit in these games. Anyway. Kira's hands were shaking as he had buttoned my pajamas. But he was somehow still able to finish unbuttoning it. Uh, K Kira? He was about to take off my pajamas, but stopped. Uh, are you okay? Your ears are red. Because he actually thinks of you like a human being and not just a toy? <gasps> Weirdness. Again, it's like magic happened. Uh, I'm sorry. Could you change yourself today, Miss Spacey? Uh, sh sure. If we wanted to be an asshole, we'd be like, no, that's your job, and you're going to have to suck it up, buttercup. But we're better than him. <sighs> kind of sucks. I want to be petty. Could Kira be embarrassed? Tease him, Spacey. <laughs> That's why I'm an asshole. I never said I wasn't. Uh, um, well then, can you turn around for me? Y yes, you're right. Kira was a little pink as he turned around. W what is this? Why am I so excited, girl? Is this all because of the kiss we'd had last night? Am I really that pure-hearted? What should I do? Force a kiss on him. Slam him up against a wall and kiss him. Yeah. Why do I feel this way just from standing beside him? Is my body getting hotter? Oh, wow. Okay. Wavering feelings. Oh. Interesting. One month had passed since I'd started living in this mansion. I thought one month had passed like a month ago. Today's October 31st. Okay, so she came at the end of September then. So, yeah, because let's just say... Okay, yeah. Because it was three months in December. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. But the, the, we the weird thing is, is like, the in the other one... Like, they made the time scene weird, and I was like, wait, what? I don't know. Maybe I'm just dumb. I'm probably dumb, but anyway. Kirishima and the others had told me to come to the greenhouse for the Halloween party. Do we get costumes? Whoa! Oh, cool! Look at all the shit all over! Oh, there's pumpkins in the bushes! Neat! As I stepped into the greenhouse... I, these little things fascinate me. I saw tons of black and orange decorations everywhere. There are pumpkins and ribbons over there, too. Oh, there's a jack-o'-lantern wearing a witch's hat. Yeah, like right here. <laughs> and one up there, but... he <laughs> it's all so cute. How do you like it, Miss Spacey? Oh, Kirishima. I love it. The decorations look like something right out of an amusement park. It's really cute. 
Isn't that great, Kirishima? He done all of the preparations himself. Please continue praising him, Miss Spacey. Ahem. Don't say it like that. Oh, that's unusual. Are you blushing? That's not what I'm talking about. A unicorn and Kamasaki had helped out as well. If you really like the decorations, please make sure to thank them, too. <laughs> okay, I will. It's not just decorated uh, nicely. Treats... It's not just decorated nicely. There are, I'm assuming, treats and fruit punch, too. They'd prepared all of this for me. I'm really impressed. Creek. Oh, Kira, look at all of this. For a second, Kira looked at me very surprised. That's great, Miss Spacey. He started to force a smile onto his face. Oh. It's been weeks since then. Okay, again. Didn't we say it had already been a month in like one of the earlier chapters in this route? Been about a month since I got here and now it's been weeks since. So how the hell has it only been a month? And why the fuck were they carving pumpkins weeks before Halloween? They don't last that long. Like a pumpkin that you put out will. But once you carve it, it doesn't usually last weeks. I mean, I guess if they're inside, maybe it'd be different. I don't know. We've always had our pumpkins like outside, but they start, but they're going to start getting soft and mushy and cape. So like it's been weeks since we carved the, <laughs> they're not really good with the timeline on this one. So, okay. I wasn't crazy in the other one. They're just kind of fucked up with shit. Okay. Kira, I'm kind of confused. Could you give me some time? Ever since then, Kira has been close to me, yet feels far away. I don't know how to face him. Creek. Sorry I'm late. Sorry. Oh, Yonokura, Kamasaki. Thank goodness, they came at such a good time. I felt a little relieved after seeing the two of them come late and smiled at them. Thanks for doing all the prep work for this cute party. I think nothing of it. <laughs> Kamasaki is so shy and blunt as usual gonna be some seriously fucked up shit in his route because he's so shy and awkward. All our hard work has paid off if you're enjoying yourself. Right, Kamasaki? Huh? I don't think you did any work at all, did you? Hmm? That's not true. That's just your own misunderstanding. Unicora chuckled to evade responsibility and looked at me. And there you have it. Please relax and enjoy yourself today, Miss Spacey. Uh, uh okay. Uh, oh, no. When I look at you in Akura, I can't help but remember that night. It's so nerve-wracking. I can't help but keep my guard up around him. I mean, good choice. Come this way, Miss Spacey. This is your party, after all. Yeah, thank you, Kirishima. Kirishima's words signaled the start of the Halloween party. That <laughs> like signaled the start of the Halloween party. Oh. <gasps> so cute. <laughs> when I look at the pumpkins like this, I can tell who carved them. This vague and roughly carved one must be Yonakura's. This carefully cut one with fine features must be Kamasaki's. As I thought to myself, I looked around the greenhouse. Miss Spacey? Huh? Whoa. Oh, that's me. Whoa. Oh, it's you, Yonakura. <laughs> Please don't be so frightened. All I did was come close to you. It's all right. It's not like I'm going to steal you away and feast on you. He, yeah. Although, when you say that, that's true? <laughs> she shouldn't be like, that's true! No, uh... Unicorn hasn't tried to approach me since that night. I have to act like it doesn't bother me either. As I thought that... Uh... Slurp. Unicorn suddenly came close to my face and licked my cheek. Ew! What is the Okay, look. I'm not opposed to the licking someone's face. Like, okay. All right. Context. Like, if you were dating, you're like, I'm going to give you a kiss. Ugh, I licked your cheek. Ah, it's funny. Okay, fine. We're not 
dating and you just licked me for no reason. That's creepy as fuck. Like that, you don't just lick strangers, okay? You can lick your boyfriend or your girlfriend. Like you're gonna lean on me, just give you a little kiss on the cheek. Ugh, lick them. <laughs> you know, <laughs> like, fine. Like, oh, it's weird. What are you doing? It's funny, but weird. But like this? Oh, no, stop. Creepy. Excuse my behavior. And there was some cream on your cheek. I doubt it, you freak. That's why you licked me all of a sudden? Is that normal for you? And who, what kind of slob am I that I got the cream on my cheek? Yonokura. Oh, Kira. Great. Did he see that just now? Could he... Do you have business with Miss Spacey, Yonokura? Kira's mouth is smiling, but his eyes are nowhere near happy. Yeah, because now... Well, you know, we should just give up. No, not really. Unicorn shrugged his shoulders in a joking manner. See, it's just like I'd said. He guards you like a watchdog. He whispered those words into my ear so only I could hear them. Like I'd said before, don't get angry just from stuff like this, Kira. More importantly, Kira, haven't you been acting a little weird recently? What? No, not really. Could it be... Are you jealous of me and Miss Spacey? There is no me and you! What the fuck? What? Oh, that's surprising. I guess you do have those types of feelings just like any other regular person. Yonokura. Kira had a stern look on his face and then... Fist fight? Kira, can I borrow you for a moment? What? Kamasaki showed up looking worried. W what is it, Kamasaki? Wait, are you... Are you drunk? Huh? The fuck is going on? He's right. Kamasaki's eyes are all bloodshot. He's probably been crying. Because he's going to be a delicate flower of an asshole, somehow. Not to mention he's staggering. I mean, maybe he is. <gasps> Yonakura got him drunk. So that... He would distract Kira, and then Yonokura could have his way with me like a rapey son of a bitch. That's the kind of shit that should be in this game to make you hate it, right? To be like, what the fuck is wrong with this garbage? But every time you're like, this is gonna get really bad, you're like, it's really... I mean, they're assholes, don't get me wrong. But it's really not as bad as I was expecting. Overall. Oh, I still think they're all fucking assholes. But... Ugh... He drank all the alcohol Kirishima brought out from the storehouse by himself. What? Are you serious? Yeah, that's that's crazy. I turned around and there were empty wine bottles rolling on the table. He drank all of that by himself because he's so devastated that we keep choosing other men. That's some fucked up shit. I, I'm just guessing or he's an alcoholic. Which again, I don't think we want to get in a relationship with that, but... Kira... What do you think about Spacey? Uh, Miss Spacey... What I think. That's none of your business. From my point of view, Spacey likes you, Kira. And it looks like you're interested in her, too. Kira is interested in me? I mean, he wanted to... Why is this like a shock to... <gasps> what? Didn't, didn't he say he wanted to be in a serious relationship with you? I... Okay. All right. I'm just going to pretend that that didn't happen, because clearly it didn't in her mind. Idiot. I don't know how Yonokura meddled with you two, but... Hey, hold on a second. Don't treat me like some kind of pest. No, pervert and asshole. Shut up, Yonokura. Please don't butt into our conversation. What? Kamasaki really speaks his mind when he's drunk. Kira, I'm begging you. Please don't make Miss Spacey sad. If you really love her, you need to be honest about your feelings. That's what I think... At least... Thud. I was like, literally in my mind, I was like, that's what I think. At least. And I was like clicking, I'm like, he's gonna, now we, now's the time for him to pass out after his wise words. And literally happened. Awesome. Good job, game. I expected that. And I like it. It's funny. After finishing his statement, Kamasaki fell over like a dead battery. Hey, Kamasaki. Come on, get a hold of yourself. Are you okay, Kamasaki? Wait, what in the world is going on here? 
Kawasaki drank all the wine by himself and collapsed. What? I, I can't believe it. And this is why I was against having alcohol in the daytime. Well, not all of us are fucking winos. If Madame Aiko was here, we'd have to write her a formal apology, Kirishima. <laughs> My bad. Judging by your expression, I can tell you weren't completely sorry. I'm sorry. Please be lenient and forgive me, Kagurazaka. Kamasaki was drinking out of heartbreak. In other words, he was drowning his sorrows. Huh? Kagurazaka was blinking in surprise as he looked at us. I mean, I'm the only woman in the house, so unless he's in love with Kira, which could be. <laughs> That's why he's an asshole. I'm stuck with you, and I, I've got to have sex with you, but I'm in love with Kira. Well, I mean, I guess that would make you treat me like shit, because you're unhappy and miserable and hiding in the closet, but why don't you just go date Kira? I don't understand. <laughs> Good lord. Oh, I see. So that's what's going on. I understand. In that case, I'll overlook this just once. Kagorizaka sighed and looked troubled as he started to smile awkwardly. He's like, I just need to leave. This is fucking messed up. He then turned toward me. I'm sorry for getting you mixed up in their quarrel, Miss Spacey. Uh, okay. What? Oh, hi, Kira. Where's Kamasaki? He was on the floor. You never said it. Kira picked him up and left. I brought him to his room and laid him on his bed. That was fast. He was so heavy. He really tired me out because his body's so big. Uh, take it easy. Should I massage your shoulders later? Don't be silly. If I made you do that, Kagurazaka would be furious and come after me. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Ha <laughs> I, I can't get the life. He's like, <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> what the f Awkward laughter is awkward. Oh, Kira's laughing. It's been a while since we've had a laid back conversation like this. Really? Because it felt awkward to me, but thanks to Kamasaki, all the awkwardness disappeared before I could realize it. Really? Because I feel like he made it more awkward. You know, I really do like talking to Kira like this. Miss Spacey, is something wrong? Kira's eyes were incredibly gentle as he stared at me. Y yeah, I'm fine. If what Kamisaki said was true, Kira also likes me? Again, why is she so fuck? Okay, I'm gonna end here. Uh, and we can set start the next festivities in the next part, but like, oh my god, why is she a fucking idiot? Like, he likes me? Didn't he say he wanted to be in a serious relationship with you? And I mean, I guess if you thought he was joking, like, but then why would you have agreed and been like, oh, okay. Yeah, sure, I'll just sleep with you. Like, what? I know, I guess what she's thinking is not like, oh, he wants to get to know me and be in a serious relationship. Like, he's in love with me? I mean, but it's the way they say it. Maybe it's because the translation, but you know what I mean? It just comes across like, are you fucking stupid? Like, yes. We already know this, but anyway, uh, I will see you guys next time for more train wreck. Uh, so yeah, remember to give the video a big thumbs up and subscribe to see more. <laughs>